We're going to step through the installation of SharePoint 2013 for a single server deployment. For this installation, I'm going to use the Foundation Edition. For single server deployments, they're good for evaluation, development, training and demonstration, and perhaps pilot evaluations. Deployment restrictions, which are very important, uh, you cannot use this method on a domain controller and a workgroup environment. Uh, again, this is not supported for production on a domain controller. If your computer is in a workgroup, you cannot install the app fabric for Windows Server. SQL Server 2008 R2 Service Pack 1 Express Edition is installed. And we'll address that in just a moment, but keep in mind that Express Edition does have a 10 gigabyte per database limit. You cannot also use user profile synchronization in this type of installation. The minimum hardware requirements are generally 64-bit 4-core processors, 80 gigabyte hard drive space, where we vary is with the RAM for 8 gigabytes if we install the minimum number of services, 10 gigabytes if we take that and include Visual Studio 2012, and 24 gigabytes if we install all the available services for SharePoint. The minimum recommended services for development is listed here. The minimum software requirements begin with Windows Server 2008 R2 Service Pack 1 or Windows Server 2012. Also required is .NET Framework 4.5. After the installation, we need to ensure that we've installed, or excuse me, after the prerequisites are installed, we need to ensure these four patches have been applied. As I mentioned earlier, SQL Server 2008 R2 Service Spec 1 Express Edition is installed, and that's done automatically. If you currently have a SQL Server instance installed, this will create a new instance, and the instance will be named SharePoint. The preparation tool will install the prerequisites and for example web web server role, application server role, as we already mentioned, Windows or excuse me, Microsoft.NET Framework 4.5. All these will be installed with the preparation tool. Just as a side note, client computers are recommended to have Windows 7, Silverlight 3, Office 2013, or an older version with the latest service pack. Here's a few links. Uh, highlighted is this particular installation process. We're doing an install on a single server with a built-in database. We're using a foundation edition. All right, so let's jump right in and start the installation. I started the installation or of uh, SharePoint 2013 foundation. We're going to start with installing the prerequisites. Some of these looks should look familiar. .NET Framework 4.5 in particular. Just click Next. This installation takes a little while. Alright, the first step is complete. Click Finish and then we'll have a reboot. Okay, we've just finished the reboot. This automatically restarts. And that part's complete. Click Finish and we'll do another reboot. All right, we've just finished the reboots, and SharePoint installation is going to continue. Okay, the installation installation of the prerequisites is complete. Click finish, and now we will resume the installation. Okay, so we're back at the splash screen. Let's uh, begin the actual insula installation of SharePoint Foundation. Accept the terms for the agreement. Here we're going to do a standalone installation. Note right here include SQL Server 2008 R2 Express Edition. Now the installation is completed. We're going to go ahead and ensure that this checkbox is checked to run the product configuration wizard after we click close. If we do not check that, it can be restarted or started from all programs, Microsoft SharePoint 2013 products, and the bottom one here, SharePoint 2013 products configuration wizard. Let's go ahead and click close, and that will automatically kick off. 
Print list begin, click next. Yes, that services may be restarted. It's completed the configuration. All right, as we navigate out, let's enter in our SP admin account. Okay, that wraps up the installation. Here is our first sample site. Uh, you can browse through this and explore. But that's it. Thanks a bunch for watching, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked what you've seen.